The COVID-19 or coronavirus pandemic officially struck New Jersey back in March of 2020, with the first case being on March 4th. As the pandemic grew, schools and businesses started to shut down. On March 11th, the New Jersey Secretary for Higher Education released a statement urging institutions of higher education to prepare a mid-outbreak. Around 1 p.m. on March 11th, Brookdale Community College sent out a mass text message to its students and instructors, indicating that in-person classes would be canceled until after spring break, March 15th. So when I got the rave alert that the campus was actually closing, I was actually in class with Professor Smuga, uh, Claire Smuga, who is the head of the art department at Brookdale. And we had just actually been talking about the possibility of campus closing for spring break. And it was just kind of a really ironic, funny thing where everyone simultaneously got this message. But it wasn't like funny, it was kind of more scary because everyone started to kind of panic. I think my first response was just get out of there now before the parking lot turns into a sea of people. So I essentially got in my car and processed it on the drive home. How could anyone have known that the pandemic would span a much longer time frame than that? When it was finally realized that we weren't coming back after spring break, it was really tough. And I remember being like really angry and annoyed because, well, first of all, we were paying the lab fee. After the rave email, the rest of the semester for me, everything was transferred to online classes. Everything in class was so difficult. It felt just so much more difficult. I couldn't concentrate. I was always on my phone. I wasn't listening, but I still had the desire to like do the work and finish the classes, but it was so distracting, I think. I feel like I really need to be at the campus to like truly focus. I can't learn anything online and truthfully, I kind of just played Lego Star Wars during a couple of my classes. With Zoom raising in popularity among the teaching community, students needed to figure out what ways worked best for them to learn. In my personal opinion, the best way for me that's been working is when professors do their classes either on an online Zoom format at a scheduled meeting time, like um, gesture drawing at 1.30, like set time, set meeting every week, same thing. And another way was the do it at your own pace. I would choose more of an open-ended setting. I prefer less of the live Zoom sessions and more of the here's a project, Here's the instructions how to do it, and here's the due date. That's how I feel like I can learn right now, but honestly, I feel like I'm not retaining that much. I feel like I haven't really retained much of anything during the uh, past semester. I've really been trying to work hard to figure out how in the world I'm able to focus during this pandemic. At the end of the day, new structures were put in place so students could learn in safety. So far, Brookdale, I think, has been doing a great job of keeping the students safe. Even though I don't think anyone really prefers the online classes, I think it's what we need right now because, you know, safety reasons. It's like having to wear a mask or only having a capped amount of students be able to enter the campus at one point, but I would rather not catch it. <laughs> so if taking a mask and sitting six feet away from someone is what it takes, I'd rather do that. So I think they are doing, they're doing a lot and they're, at least they're trying. I believe the school is doing an amazing job with uh, keeping everyone safe. I really appreciate the measures that the uh, school has gone to. And like even when I would just come here to study and just get out of my house, they have you check in and double check the temperatures just to be sure everyone is okay and is able to get in. I really appreciate that. They're going the extra mile.